It's been a pretty hectic week for me guys and in less than 12 hours I have to jump on a plane to be out of here so hence why I haven't had time to change into my usual clothes and I'm still in very professional work attire but hey there's nothing wrong with that. What's going on guys my name is David Tomich and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here thank you so much for joining me. A little bit about myself my name is David Tomich I'm a Masters of Architecture graduate and I'm an entrepreneur. I've successfully launched three businesses that have gone international, one being Wire Watches, which is now stocked across 14 stores in three different continents. On this channel, we talk a lot about tech and tech reviews. And today, we're talking about something that's been out for about six months in beta, but it's only been officially released to the public a couple weeks ago. We're talking about Apple's brand new Catalina update, which allows you to enable Sidecart and use any Apple Pencil enabled iPad and any 2016 or later MacBook into a dual screen setup. Yes, I know you've been able to pair your iPads to your MacBooks for a long time now using lots of different third party devices, third party programs and even different cables that you've had to go out and buy. But this is the first time that Apple has released the software officially and it's 100% free. If you've just clicked on this video and have absolutely no idea what Sidecar is, basically what it does is it lets you mirror your screen from your laptop to any Apple supported device. At the moment, it's any Apple Pencil supported iPad, so any iPad, iPad mini or iPad Pro, the latest generations and a couple generations back, and also any Apple TV compatible devices. Now there are a few things that you need to take note if you want to activate this. First of all, you need to have the Catalina update installed on your laptop. You need to have iPad OS installed on your iPad and you need to have both devices running on the same iCloud. Now for me, I had a little bit of trouble setting this up. I didn't have any of my Apple devices set up with two-factor authorization. They were just enabled with a single sign-in. So I had to go through and set up the iPad, set up the laptop, set up an iPhone, get it all synced, get it all running and it was a bit of a pain in the butt if I'm being honest. But when you actually got it all working, it was really good and really worthwhile. So Sidecar is very simple to set up if you've never used it before. All you have to do is go to the top right hand corner of your screen, click the little AirPlay button and drop down to where you see your iPad's name, click it and the rest is done for you. If for some reason you're still having some trouble finding your iPad, some pro tips are make sure you're connected to the same iCloud account, make sure both your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi is turned on on both devices, and finally, make sure you are on the same Wi-Fi network. This will not work if you're not on the same Wi-Fi network, so this is definitely your first troubleshooting point. Now what you'll find once you've activated Sidecar on your iPad, is the simple fact that your iPad is no longer 100% touch screen. There is a small little sliver on the side that has a few menu options for you that is still touch screen and allows you to disable the sidecar at any point in time. It's good to know that you can also use your iPad as normal. Click the home button, it'll take you back to the home screen and you can still use your, all your apps as regular and it activate the touch functionality again. A little golden nugget from Apple though since they've completely removed all touch functionalities from the iPad, they've made sure to include the little touch bar at the bottom of the iPad when you've got Sidecar running. So even if your MacBook doesn't have the touch bar on it, you'll get this feature on your iPad. Now, mine doesn't have the touch bar, so it is proof that it works. However, when I was testing this out and having good play with it, I really found that every time I try to use the touch bar, it never really worked it was kind of like that whole section of the iPad was frozen. When I moved the touch bar up to the top of the screen, it worked for a few minutes and then decided to stop working again. So for me, the touch bar wasn't that useful, but it might have been the iPad, it might have been a software thing, I'm not too sure. Maybe let me know in the comments below if you're having the same issue. If you have the added luxury of having an Apple Pencil at your disposal, it's good to know that the Apple Pencil still works 100% during the sidecar application. Basically, it just works like the mouse pointer. You can click anywhere with the pencil, you can draw like you would with the pencil, and you can use your iPad as a draw tablet. Say you're a creative and need the power of your laptop 
to do most of your work, but your laptop isn't touch screen and you love to draw. Well, you can always boot up the sidecar onto your iPad, take your iPad into your lap, start drawing on Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, use the pencil as you would very naturally with a draw pad and have it right there at your disposal with the full power of your laptop in the tiny little iPad. Now, that's a pretty amazing feature if you ask me and something that I'll definitely be utilizing in the future. One thing that I got to researching straight away, and this is in no way, shape or form sponsored, I just thought it was a cool little accessory that you can buy for this, is a little mount bracket. So I think it's about 35 Australian dollars or 20 US, 25 US, depending on the currency exchange rate at the moment. You can get a small little padded bracket that sits on the side of your laptop and clips in your iPad directly onto the side. So you don't have to hold it, you don't have to worry about it. It can literally just be your second screen folding on the side of your laptop. That's pretty cool. Definitely worthwhile if you're gonna utilize this feature a lot and have some reading material on the side while doing your main project on your laptop. And that's pretty much all you need to know about the Apple Sidecart application. It's very easy to use, it's very easy to set up, and that's one of the best things about the Apple ecosystem. That's all from me guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash the subscribe button 2019 style, and as always, I'll see you next Monday.